Oh, I finally finished work. I guess I'm gonna grab something for dinner and eat all alone. This really stinks. Well, at least you're finished work. It sounds like you're working pretty hard over there. Are you doing okay? I'm surviving. I mean, I'm doing well physically. I just wish I could see you and Gwen. I'm getting pretty lonely. Like I said, I'm physically okay, but I think it's draining me mentally. Come on, Cory. It hasn't been that long. I think it's cute that you miss us so much. But seriously, they said this was a business trip. How many business trips last three weeks? If they ship me overseas to work for a year or something like that, there's no way I could do it. Oh, I'm looking forward to the day after tomorrow. You're gonna come here and see me on this long weekend, right? Of course! How many times have you asked me that now? Cory, we want to see you too. I'm sorry it's so far for you. But that's why I'm so happy you guys are coming. Thanks again, Carolyn. Seeing you and Gwen is gonna make me feel so much better. Of course it will. So don't worry about a thing. You've just got to get through one more day before the long weekend and then you can rest. Just one more day. You can do it! Okay. I'll message you again tomorrow. I'll be waiting. You take it easy tonight and get some rest. Good night! I'm finally finished. I didn't want to take any work back to the hotel with me for the long weekend, so I managed to finish everything today. Even though I felt like I was gonna die while I was doing it. I'm a pretty good worker, aren't I? Tomorrow's gonna be so great, I can't wait for it. Cory, I'm sorry. Carolyn, please don't tell me you're cancelling. Gwen came down with a sudden fever today, I was really worried. We just got back from the hospital. What? When? How high was it? Well, it was 100 degrees. The doctor said it's not that bad, but I was getting pretty worried. I'm really sorry. 100 degrees, huh? That's really not that bad of a fever. I don't think you should worry so much about it either. I guess not. But Gwen has her final exams coming up too. I don't want to make anything worse. If she gets sick now, she'll never be able to study for them. Yeah, I suppose not. That's why I took her to the doctor, just in case. I want her to rest up as much as she can, and hopefully this will pass quickly. Okay, I understand. We'll call it off this time. You take care of Gwen for me, okay? Make sure she feels better soon. I'll send her a message to let her know I'm thinking of her. Okay. Don't worry about anything. I'll take good care of her. Dad, where are you right now? What do you mean, where? I'm still on my business trip. More importantly, how are you feeling? Liar! You're close to home, aren't you? Huh? No. Why? I just got a message from my friend saying she saw you go into the store. It was my friend from down the street, Nina. She knows you. She wouldn't mistake you. <sighs> I can't believe you found out. I wanted to surprise you guys. No, whatever, I'll just tell you. I really wanted to see you guys, so I decided to come home for the long weekend. I was starving, though, so I stopped off at the convenience store. I just bought a drink and a burrito. I'm coming up to the house right now. Dad, wait! Don't come in the house right now! Huh? Why not? We don't want to see you right now! Why did you come home? If you come home so suddenly like this, uh, we won't be happy to see you. Go back to your hotel, wherever your business trip is. But I wanted to see you guys. And I was worried about you, Gwen. Is my coming home somehow causing problems? I'm sorry. I'll leave right away if you want, but at least let me see your face. At least talk to me at the door. I want to see my baby girl. I love you. I'll be waiting outside. I'm so sorry. Why? Honestly, I don't think you coming home is a problem. I'm happy you wanted to see me, but... But... What is it? But I didn't want you to come home right now. 
If you came home right now, I think you'd be really sad. I'd be sad? What are you talking about? <sighs> Dad, you're really outside the house right now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm here. Really? Really? I see. Right now, there's another man in Mom's room. A man? It's Uncle Zack, your brother. Zack, he's in your mother's room. Why? I don't really want to say what they're doing. But since you've been on your business trip, he's been coming over almost every day. What have you been doing while he's there? Been hiding in a closet. What? Mom told me to! And she told me never to tell you about it or about what she's doing. I wanted to tell you, but I didn't know what would happen to me if I did. I was scared. You're upstairs in the closet in your room, right? No, because Mom and your brother are upstairs in her room. I'm in the closet downstairs. I see. I'm sorry you had to see your mom do all this, Gwen. I had no idea what was going on. I'm so sorry. Dad, you didn't do anything wrong. I was the one who didn't tell you I'm sorry. Must have been scary for you this whole time. Thanks for telling me the truth. Honestly, I don't want to live with Mom anymore. I want to be with you. Okay, well then, I think you should come and live with me. But in order to do that, can you help me out with a little favor? Okay, if you're here, it should be no problem. Good girl. Can you do exactly what I tell you? Carolyn, how's Gwen doing? Oh, she's not doing too well right now. Her fever kept getting worse. I've been with her the whole time. It looks like I'll be spending the entire holiday with her. I see. I'm sorry. It must be hard taking care of her all by herself. Oh, don't worry about it. I can handle it. But I really wanted to see you this weekend. I don't know why, but I'm feeling really lonely now. Really? You shouldn't be feeling lonely. Zack is right there with you. Huh? The person lying next to you right now, it's Zack, isn't it? You know, my younger brother. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't have to play dumb with me. I'm in the house, too. You're in the house? Yeah, right below your bedroom. I'm watching TV in the living room. You're kidding, right? Why would I lie about that? Oh, no. What's that sound? You hear that knocking on the living room ceiling, don't you? That's me. I wanted to surprise you by coming home for the long weekend. I thought I'd be the one surprising you, though. I never thought I'd be the one getting surprised when I came home. So, when did you start seeing Zack? Get down here right now. Do that and tell me everything honestly. If you do that, I might consider forgiving you. Forgiving me? <laughs> what? Huh? Why do you think you're in any position to be doing the forgiving? If you think that, you're sadly mistaken. You're the one who left me all alone for three weeks to look after Gwen all by myself. You're the one in the wrong here. That's the only reason I'm cheating. That's not enough of an excuse to cheat. And don't try to blame all this on me in this business trip of mine. You were seeing Zack long before this business trip of mine, weren't you? What? How could you know that? Zack's wallet is down here. I see he's got a reward card for a hotel not far from here. It's got the date stamped on it of when he used it. I can't believe you. You can't go into someone else's wallet without their permission. You're terrible. No, you two are 100 times worse. Do you not even know what you're doing? Zack is my brother. Of course I know what I'm doing. Huh? Zack is so handsome. He's totally my type. 
When you took me to meet your family, I fell in love with him at first sight. I regretted marrying you after seeing him. I wish I would have married him instead. I've been trying to hit on him ever since I first saw him. I think it was last year or maybe the year before that when he finally started catching my signals. And then he eventually started seeing me like I had hoped for the whole time. What do you mean like you'd hoped for? Quit screwing around. Zack is my brother. And on top of that, Zack's married as well. Oh, that old woman. I know, and I don't care. Old woman. She's only a year older than you are. An older woman is an older woman. Regardless, I'm much more beautiful and have way more style than her. I knew there was no way I'd lose to her. Okay, now I see what you really like. You don't feel bad for what you did, and you have no urge to stop, do you? To stop? With Zack, I have no reason to. He's a much better man than you. What are you talking about? Up till now, we've had to tiptoe around just to see each other. Now he can come over here anytime he wants, and we can do whatever we want. What? You're aware of what's going on now, so we don't have to hide it from you anymore. I can't believe you. There must be something wrong with your head. There's no way I'm gonna let you do that. Why would you even think that? Oh, come on now. It's not like you have a choice. What do you mean I don't have a choice? You love me and Gwen, right? You've already proven you can't live without us. You can't go three weeks without me. Do you really think you have any chance of divorcing me? I'll keep being your sweet little wife like I've always been, and in return, you'll let me see your brother, okay? That way, everyone's happy, okay? Okay. I get it. That's great! I knew you'd understand. I'm in the living room right now. Why don't the two of you come down here? We need to talk about what's going to happen from now on. Okay, as soon as we put some clothes on, we'll come down. Oh, and if I get pregnant with Zack's child any time in the future, I'm sorry. If that happens, let's all raise it together. How come you're not answering your phone? What was with you and that face you were just making? I saw you try to sneak down the stairs, and I saw the face you made when you looked in the living room. You can't hide up there forever. Come down here one more time. What the heck is going on down there? Why are your mom and dad sitting in the living room with you? It's my surprise gift to you and Zack. You were surprised, weren't you? <sighs> How could you do this to us? Oh, it was so fun. The look on your face was priceless. You said you were going to put on some clothes and come down, but you two only put on underwear. I guess you really wanted to show me that you two were serious. You two basically confessed to everyone without saying a word. By the way, your parents along with Zack's wife and her parents are on their way over here too. They'll all be here any minute. What? Why? Obviously because I called them. Why would you do that? Did you think I was just going to have an ordinary chat with you two after what you did? You should have known that wasn't going to be possible. I've already told everyone what's been going on with you two. So, you're not going to accept our relationship? Nobody in their right mind would accept that. Why would you think I'd just forgive you for cheating on me with my brother, and that I'd let it keep happening? And why would I want to raise any child you had with him? I had no idea you were this stupid of a person. I'm divorcing you. Hurry up and get down here. Huh? Divorce? Corey, wait! Why? <laughs> why divorce? What do you mean, why? I can't sleep next to someone who's sleeping with my brother. I don't even want to live in the same house as you. It's not even just that. It's what you did to Gwen, too. You made her stay in the closet when Zack came over. And she said you barely gave her any food while I was away, just sandwiches with cold meats. Yet you and Zack were eating at expensive restaurants all the time, weren't you? With my money. You two are horrible. It's not my fault. She'd just get in the way when Zack was here if I didn't make her stay out of sight and far from my bedroom. And she's just a kid. She doesn't need expensive food. Sandwiches are just fine. 
The fact that you're defending what you did means getting through to you is just impossible. You disgust me. Get your ass down here right now! I want to get this over with so I never have to see you again. Cory, do you understand what you're saying to me? If you divorce me, you're gonna be single. That means alone. You'll be sad every day. Forever! Even so, that will be a hundred times better than living with you. Besides, I won't be alone. I'll have Gwen with me. <laughs> you think Gwen is going to live with you if you divorce me? Gwen already said that's what she wants. Oh. Well, that's fine with me. Huh? Honestly, if you're trying to get remarried, having a kid living with you is just another strike against you. If you're gonna take Gwen, I'll be happy to divorce you. Then I'll be able to marry Zack. If our parents are against it, we'll just run away together somewhere, away from everyone. You're really stupid, aren't you, Cory? I'm still gonna come out on top here. My passion for Zack will burn even brighter in the face of adversity. Whatever you try to do to us, my bond with Zack will just get stronger and stronger. Sucks to be you. You think his passion will burn brighter for you? I think it sucks to be you. Huh? Zack, he doesn't want to divorce his wife. Uh, what are you talking about? He only slept with you to get back at his wife. He wanted her to pay more attention to him. Huh? He told me that long ago. He said that his wife hasn't been paying much attention to him. He even told me that if he cheated on her, she likely wouldn't care. I never thought he'd actually do it, though. I certainly never thought if he did cheat on his wife that it would be with my wife. That's a little prick. Are you saying Zack doesn't actually love me? <laughs> Ask him yourself. He's right beside you. Cory, I'm so sorry. I was wrong. I was being really stupid. I'm gonna apologize and make it up to you, so please don't divorce me. Please? Why? What happened? Did Zack say he doesn't want to be with you? Yeah! He's horrible! I can't believe he was being so nice to me this whole time! And now, suddenly he says I was just his plaything? Cory, your brother tricked me! Yeah, yeah, that's great. Hurry up and get down here, would ya? We can't talk about this until you do. Will you promise not to divorce me? If you do that, I'll come down. I'm not doing that. Then I'm not coming down. Zack says he's dumping me, and if you divorce me too, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna live? I can't live by myself. I don't have a job. I'm not leaving this room until you tell me you're not gonna divorce me. If you're not coming out on your own, we'll just force you to come out. Huh? Your dad's on his way up there right now. He said he can't stand this anymore. He's probably gonna break the door down. And I told him he could if he wanted to, so I wouldn't stand anywhere near it if I were you. Wait, hold on! Tell him to stop! Stop him! No, it's okay. He said he'll get you out of there one way or another. Don't worry. Passions glow even brighter in the face of adversity, remember? After that, Carolyn's dad went into the room and dragged the two of them out and brought them downstairs. With three sets of parents in the house, those two could do nothing but get on their knees and beg for forgiveness. Carolyn realized that she wasn't getting out of this without getting divorced and started bawling her eyes out. Even with all her crying, not a single person in the house would show her any forgiveness. Unfortunately for Zack, Zack's wife's father was actually one of his bosses at work. He told Zack right then and there that he'd find a way to fire him for cheating on his daughter. Getting fired from his job would put a huge blemish on his work history on his resume, so it made me feel pretty good. I don't think Zack's wife is ever going to be willing to forgive him for this either. Even though he thought she wouldn't mind, that wasn't the case at all. Both Carolyn and Zack got sued for compensation money from both me and Zack's wife. They had to use all their savings and even sell some of their assets to pay off their lawsuits. I think both of them are going to have to find a new job and work the rest of their lives to make back what they lost in all of this. As for me, I put the house we were living in up for sale. Now Gwen and I are looking for a new house to move into. 
I've spoken to my boss about my situation as a single father, and he's trying to place me in a different apartment where there aren't many business trips to go on. I want to spend as much time with my daughter as I possibly can. Mona, you're already late for the wedding. Did something happen? Reply to my text if you're alright. Hi, Nicholas. Oh, Mona, is everything alright? I was worried because you wouldn't answer my texts, even though today's our wedding. Oh, yeah, sorry. Let's cancel today's wedding. What? Sorry, I'm not going to go to the wedding anymore. Uh, do you mean that you want to delay the wedding to a later date? No, I meant that I don't want to have a wedding anymore. Which means that I'm canceling our marriage. What? Why, why are you telling me this on the day of the wedding? It's not my fault. I met him on the day before my life was going to change. The night before our wedding. Him. You mean that there's another guy? Oh, I don't want you to misunderstand, but... I only started having a relationship with him since last night. It's fine if you need to ask me to pay an alimony. But don't be so shallow as to ask for a huge amount of money just because you're mad. No matter, just come to the wedding. We need to talk this through in person, not by text. What? But I don't want to. That's what you're telling me. But in truth, you're planning on doing something crazy like holding me captive and making me sign the marriage papers, right? I'm not going to do anything of the sort. If all we were was boyfriend and girlfriend, then it might be enough to agree to break up. But as it stands, we're engaged to each other. Today was even supposed to be our wedding. It's not enough to just agree to break up. You're just making a big deal out of this, Nicholas. You're at the wedding venue right now. All you have to do is tell everyone that the wedding is cancelled because we broke up. You're making everything so complicated. I'm not overcomplicating things. You're just taking this too lightly. Besides, who did you cheat on me with anyways? Is it someone I know? Oh, maybe you do know him. Who is it? Do you know Alfred Bird? Alfred Bird? Oh, so you do know him. He's the CEO of the company I used to work at five years ago, before I changed jobs. I see, so that's how you know him. But this just proves that he's much, much more high-spec than you are. Decided to break up with you and go out with him instead was a wonderful choice. Is that so? Then fine. Let's break up. Thanks. But, I understand that you want to break up with me, but you're going to regret this, you know. Why would I regret this? I mean, he's the CEO of a company and he's so much more high-spec than you are. What reason would I have to regret it? Is that so? I'm going to be contacting you in one form or another at a later date to discuss the various procedures and monetary details we have to go through. If we're going to cancel the wedding ceremony and the marriage. What? I think I'm going to be hiring a lawyer for this. A lawyer? I ask for your cooperation. Hey, wait a minute. Bye then, Mona. Hey! Nicholas? Stop that. What are you thinking sending me like 200 texts? You knew about this? Did you know that Alfred had a wife and children? Of course I knew. By the way, the reason he's the CEO now is because he married the daughter of the previous CEO, who is now a member of the board of executives. Ugh, does that mean that if he divorces his current wife and he's no longer going to be CEO? Probably, yeah. I mean... If he was a good CEO, then he'd probably keep his job, even if he did get divorced, but I doubt the board is going to let someone who just cheats on his wife remain in his position. I guess it's almost 100% chance that he loses his job. No way! 
But then that means getting into a relationship with him was pointless. And? What? What's your purpose in telling this to me? What do you mean purpose? If you had told me earlier Alfred had a wife and children, this would have never happened. What? You expected me to tell you after I just found out that you cheated on me with Alfred Bird. I had other things on my mind. But... The person who cheats on their partner gets what they deserve. Even if you did never know he had a wife, it's still your responsibility. It's no use complaining to me about it. I'm currently busy talking to a lawyer about what to do about this situation. Wait, Nicholas! Bye. What is it now? Will you please stop doing that? Help me! Huh? People are hating on me. Oh, you mean on your Facebook your friends are bashing you for what you did, right? Uh... Yesterday, even though it was the day of the wedding, you posted a bunch of pictures of you and Alfred on your Facebook page, right? You even said something like... I met the high-spec boyfriend of my dreams, so today's wedding's cancelled. This is the beginning of a new love story. And there's no way some random office worker can marry me, because now I'm a gorgeous, luxurious celebrity who's loved by a CEO. You saw it? You don't do Facebook, right? My account is also locked, so only friends can see my page. One of your friends sent me a picture with your posts. Seriously? Looks like you're getting quite the bashing. Cheater, asshole, slut, no shame, inhuman. Some of them even told you to give back their wedding gifts, right? You even saw that? Yeah. The pictures with Alfred you post on your Facebook page and everything related to it is all likely to become proof that you cheated on me. I asked a friend for her cooperation to take a screenshot of everything. Stop it! It's no use doing something like that to someone you're going to be reunited with, isn't it? What? You see, I texted Alfred earlier that I wanted to break up with him, and he agreed to my proposal. Now we can get back together as if nothing ever happened. Then I can post on my Facebook page that the wedding is cancelled anymore. But only delayed, right? Then everyone will probably forgive me. There's no way your friends are gonna forgive you. Huh? I have no intention of getting back together with you. And the hate you brought on yourself is entirely your responsibility. You brought it on yourself. Don't involve me in this. We already broke up. Don't cause me any more problems. But Nicholas... These notifications are such a pain in the ass. What is it? I'm being asked to pay an alimony to Alfred's wife. What? I didn't know he had a wife. It's not fair for her to ask me to pay an alimony. Oh, I think that's the alimony you have to pay for defaming Alfred's wife. What? What do you mean defamation? I heard that during yesterday's commotion on your Facebook page, you tried to calm everyone down by explaining your actions, but it ended up having the opposite effect and made everyone even more angry. I heard from one of your friends that you insulted Alfred's wife during this explanation of yours. But only my friends can see my Facebook page. How did Alfred's wife find out about this? What? You seriously don't know who Alfred's wife is yet? What is it? Alfred's wife is Carol, the person we used to go to university with. After she graduated university, she went on to work at her father's company. That's where she fell in love with Alfred. It's workplace romance, apparently. Are you serious? What are the chances of something like this happening? You've been connected on Facebook with Carol since university, right? 
No wonder she found out so soon. She must have been shocked when she checked her Facebook feed and saw a picture of you and her husband yesterday. Which was supposed to be the day of your wedding. Wonder what she thought when she read what you had to say. No way! By the way, I'm not an expert in such matters, but don't people have to provide an explanation as why they're asking for an alimony when they ask someone for an alimony? Didn't she get some sort of explanation that came with the notice? Well, I guess there was an explanation. There was a sort of letter that came with it, you see? There was a bunch of jibber-jabber written on it. But I didn't have Quarrel in mind at that time, so I just panicked and none of it really entered my head. So maybe everything was written on that letter. I don't get any of this. Yeah, I don't get any of this either. What do you mean by that? I don't really see the point in you telling me all this. I'm begging you, stop contacting me and f figure things out with the people involved, because I'm not one of them. You're being a pain in the ass. Hey, Nicholas! What is the money you're making me pay? What do you mean $50,000? This amount of money just for the alimony of a marriage cancellation is too much no matter how you look at it. <sighs> so you're contacting me again without fully understanding the situation. What? That money isn't just the alimony for the marriage cancellation. It also includes the cancellation fee for the wedding ceremony and the cancellation fee for the honeymoon we had planned as well. Huh? I'm paying for it even though it was cancelled? Of course you are. Everything was already prepared at the wedding ceremony. You just suddenly cancelled on the day of the wedding. That's why they're making you pay the full price since it was only cancelled because of you in the first place. No way! I'm going to tell you this, so you know, that this is something that your parents decided. What? I don't know how much they told you, but apparently they're going to make you pay for as much as possible, and your father is going to pay for the rest. The remaining amount, the one your father paid, will be your debt to him. And he said he's going to make you pay for all of it, no matter what. What? Hold on! It's $50,000, right? I have to pay Carol money as well. That amount of money! Talk to your parents about it, not me. I don't care where the money comes from as long as everything's paid for. What do you mean you don't care? You're so mean! Try to put yourself in my shoes! Taking a debt is serious even if it's from your parents! Didn't I already tell you this before? The person who cheats gets what they deserve, whether they asked for it or not. But... Well then, I think it's time for me to block you. Huh? I only didn't block you until now simply because I didn't want to lose contact with you before I could send my lawyer. <sighs> Nicholas? That being said, please talk to my lawyer from now on. Mm hmm... I'm blocking you now. Goodbye. Nicholas! Just like that, I was finally free from the storm of notifications Mona kept sending me. Thank God. I got the alimony I asked from Alfred as well, so I'm done with him as well. Right after the incident, Carol divorced Alfred and he lost his position as CEO as well. Apparently, they allowed him to have a job as a regular employee at the customer support department so that he can pay for his children's child support. As for Mona, I was worried she would try to barge into my house, but it seems her parents were keeping an eye on her, so nothing in particular has happened. They did this and that, and at the end of the day, it was decided that she would work at a construction company based far away and live at a company-owned dormitory. Her parents told me that it's a place that has strict surveillance of its employees. So she's sure not to bother you again. Seems like I can finally go back to my old, peaceful life. 